Hello and welcome to the Wedding Talk Show. Yay! I'm excited. I'm really, really excited as you can tell. And today we are going to be talking about three most important advice. I put this as the most important when you're planning a wedding, when you're planning to get married. Yes, these three three most important advice. And let me just even give you a brief introduction on what this show is going to be about. It's a it's the wedding talk show and it's a talk show for everything weddings everything as it relates to or you're planning everything as it relates to planning a wedding yes this is the talk show for it so please do me a favor you have a friend you have a sister that is getting married just share this podcast to them because trust me it's going to be loaded like overloaded you understand so but let me just put this out there. If you have questions, maybe you are not just starting. You you already started planning your wedding, and you have questions. You need clarity on particular things. You can just send me a mail. Send it to t w t s. That's t w t s at myeventigo dot com. My eventigo is spelled m y e v e n t i g o dot com. Yes, I will be sure to answer your questions and respond to all of your questions so before we go into what we're talking about today let me just introduce myself when you're looking for an authority in wedding planning yes i am that person i am my name is Ulua Darely Somi. i'm you're going to be your host and i am a wedding planner a an event planner in nigeria so i have over 10 years experience planning events planning weddings so if there's anything if you're looking for or if you're wondering why why is she why is she hosting the show why is she this why is she that yes i am overqualified for this all right so let me just go straight into my advice for you if you're just getting married you're just planning to um get married enjoy the process yes i know it feels like a very generic thing like oh enjoy the process but trust me you need to put this in front of your mind not even at the back of your mind put it in front of your mind that see this wedding planning process I am going to enjoy it no matter what because you know now they say in Nigeria it's your wedding so it's your marriage but it's your family's wedding so families tend to have a lot of say or they want particular things done for your wedding and you're like no it's my wedding I'm the one getting married and it can be some it can result into conflict and you're like you know what you could just do whatever you ought to do let me just show up on that day no don't do that enjoy the process make sure that you enjoy the process because you want to be at the end of the day you want to remember the process not just your wedding day but also the process of getting married and you are like oh i'm glad i did this i'm glad i did that it strengthens the bond between both of you getting married and all so that's the first advice the second advice is you can't control everything yeah i know right i know you want for every one of us we've, we've talked about our wedding day like there are particular things there's a way you are ah, okay this is this this is that i'm good this is the dress i'm going to put on of course i'm not saying that you should not you should leave your dress to your family member so please no but just understand that you cannot control everything there will be some things that are in your full control there's some things that you have to just leave to parents, to family, to you know what, you guys should make your decision on this and then I'm fine with whatever decision that you make. You cannot control everything. And also, one of the things that a lot of ladies tend to do is they assume that, oh, their partner is not really interested because you know now we say guys, guys just want they don't like stress, especially wedding stress, especially when people feel like ah ladies, it's ladies that have stress, ladies do this, ladies do that. But ask your partner what he wants for the wedding. It's very important because remember you are marrying a person. You're getting married to a person. It's their big day as much as it is your big day. So don't just assume that, you know, what every any decision I make is going to be fine with him, is going to be cool with him. Ask him what he wants so that you're able, it's not just, oh, you know what? I just want my wife. I just, and if I just want to get married. So that at the end of the day, he has memories that he would forever cherish and you have memories that you will forever cherish because there are things in that wedding, in that wedding ceremony that speaks to you that you're like, ah, this was what I wanted. I got what I wanted. And he also has that. So we're going to stop here for today. Um, 
do check out more podcasts this is this podcast is going to be weekly so be sure to tune in be sure to actually just subscribe you know and then remember to send in your questions to twts at my and i will see you in the next episode be safe